To complete our series on the thrushes, we're going to look at redwing and fieldfare, the winter thrushes. Both of these familiar birds breed in northern Europe and, in the case of fieldfare, in central Europe as well. And although every year a handful of pairs of each species stays to breed in the UK, usually in Scotland, for most of us fieldfare and redwing are winter visitors. Generally, both species start arriving in late September, with the most obvious movements happening throughout October. Large numbers of both visit and can be found anywhere in Britain and Ireland. Favoured habitats are scrub and farmland, where birds will feed on grass and arable fields, but preferring areas with hedges to escape into if frightened. Berry-bearing shrubs and trees are a key feature, and birds will often forage in late afternoon around the edges of woodlands before moving deeper into roost. Both of these species can be tempted into gardens in harsh frozen conditions when they are attracted to fruit, particularly apples. Redwing is a small, spot-breasted thrush, a similar size to song thrush, although its relatively short tail can make it appear even more diminutive. It is only occasionally encountered singly. Redwings are usually found in small groups or even large flocks, often associating with field fare, other thrushes and starling. Song thrush is the most likely confusion species here, being small, brown and with a clearly spotted breast but redwing has two consistent features that allow it to be separated easily. The warm tones seen on song thrush are even more obvious on redwing, giving the bird a rich warm brown overall appearance, culminating with the eponymous rusty red underwings with the colour easily visible on the flanks when the wings are closed. This distinctive feature can be difficult to make out in poor light or ruddy winter sunshine however, but luckily redwing has an even more striking characteristic a bold white supercilium. There is also a second white stripe lower on the face, but the supercilium is the most immediately obvious. Fieldfare is a much bigger bird, similar in size to a blackbird or even mizzle thrush. When seen well, its complex pattern of light grey head and back, chocolate brown saddle, white chest and a rich ochre chest band are distinctive. Fieldfares are longer tailed, upright thrushes, sharing with mizzle thrush the white underwing of that species. Given a poor view, fieldfare could even be mistaken for mizzle thrush, but the patchy plumage and complex head markings should be obvious. Habitat is also a clue, as well as the fact that fieldfare, like redwing, are usually found in flocks, unlike the antisocial mizzle thrush. In flight, redwing can look similar to starling, but the birds call constantly with a clear, indrawn whistle sounding to me like a squeaky clutch pedal. Redwing are commonly heard migrating at night in October, passing overhead. Fieldfare seen in flight have a striking pattern of black tails with no white outer tail feathers, very dark wings, contrasting with especially the pale grey rump. The call is an easily recognisable, annoyed-sounding chack-chack-chack, which birds utter frequently, such as when they take off. <laughs> 